I want to talk about fixed wireless, the NBN fixed wireless here in Australia is an antenna on the roof operates through the 4G tower network so basically if you can't get a fixed line fiber fiber line to your house well then you get fixed wireless mainly in rural areas where I am at the moment if you look basically in the bush here luckily for me I'm only 800 meters from the main tower so my antenna although there's hundreds of trees in the way big trees um, I'm still getting a signal so I'm going to show you the antenna on the roof then we're going to go inside and I'm going to give you a, a check of the internet speed now I did get the 50 20 plan it was the most is the highest plan I could get and it's not much it's not much more expensive than any other plan so you might as well just go for that one I say with the provider I signed up with which is Tangerine they offer a $60 plan for six for the first six months so I figured I mean if they're offering that for $60 for the first six months then it goes to 70 well they must be okay right and otherwise people would just swap so my internet plan is unlimited 50 20 by the month so nothing to pay so uh, you can go to their website in my area I've counted and I've done some research on this I think there's only 33 providers of NBN fixed wireless in my um, Hear the plumber birds in the background, the vicious birds. 33 providers in my area. I went with Tangerine, they seem to have a good reputation, although you just you just can't tell. I don't think there's anything um, that they really can do on their end anyway. It's just what cost is. Just do your research anyway. They seem to be okay so far. But let me let me show you the antenna on the roof. Then we're going to go inside and do a speed test. Right there is the fixed wireless. And let me going to zoom in on that. That's basically what it looks like. So here at the back of it, you'll notice that it's pointing in a particular direction so there it is there kind of looks like a satellite type bracket but it's square let's try and zoom in a little bit there so the cable well that's the cable tied that's hanging there I'll cut that off one day the cable comes down on the brackets and inside the roof and they put silicon and Anything they take off the roof and then with the screws they put back on it with silicon to seal it back up again. The bracket itself there, picture to the back there, I would estimate one and a half foot maybe from the roof. Not very big at all. If you notice, what's happened here is I've got a tree right there a tree that's lost its leaves in winter but it's going to be coming back somewhere there so there's a gap between and the tower is in that direction so hopefully it'll be okay but being this close to the tower it's not going to matter so much but I just thought I'd let you see that there's no wires coming over the roof or anything like that it goes through the roof alrighty so let's go inside and do a speed test so this is what it looks like inside the house. That's, that's for my router, or my modem or router. This is powering the box. So you get that. This is a new add-on. This was here before for the old telephone. This is the NBN, NBN phone or VoIP. This is the NBN box connected to the antenna. There you go. All right, so here we are at the uh, computer room. Set up there. Let's test 
the speed of the fixed wireless NBN. Alrighty, we're here in Google. We're going to check the NBN fixed wireless with speed test. Well, let me first show you my original speed test result. So 67 ping, 14.92 download with the 0.77 upload. So let's go to speed test. We might try this one in a minute, but we'll, we'll stick with the, the one we know, which is this Ookla one. So the server is Brisbane. That's nowhere near me, but I'm going to leave it the same as the other one was Brisbane. Yes, it was. So that was 2 a.m. ADSL, 2 a.m. in the morning. And it is now 2 p.m. in the afternoon here now with fixed wireless. So I'm guessing if I did this at 2 a.m., it would only be better anyway. So let's give it a check now. So this is the MBN fixed wireless in rural Queensland. Ping 30, that's better. Come on. Looks like we're going to get 33, maybe 32. There we go, we got 32 download. And what's the upload? The upload is struggling a little bit to even get to 7. There we go, 7. seven point one six. So let's go back to the original ADSL versus fixed wireless. So you can see the difference there. It's almost double the download and it's about 10, 10 nearly yeah, 10 times the um, upload speed that we, I was getting before. But you can't just run one test. Let's try again. So 30, 32, 7. Let's try again. Brisbane server again. I'm about 100 kilometers from Brisbane, north of Brisbane. Looks like it's going to be consistent here, so that's good. So again, I am only approximately 800 meters from the tower. And I'm up on a hill, but there is trees in the way. Lots of trees in the way. Come on, let's get to 8 upload. I know that checking before I have have got over 8 upload but never over 9 alright so there's 30 31 7.81 so it's pretty consistent there's the ADSL and there's the NBN fixed wireless so let's do one more test it says it now says Vocus down here, so that must be the fixed wireless um, network on the um, tower down here somewhere. It's no longer saying Telstra. Vocus Communications. I know Vocus Communications is on the um, stock market, so there's a must be doing something right if the, if they were able to um, get on the ASX. So here we go again, we, we're back at 7 upload. So it's an improvement from that ADSL2 to the NBN fixed wireless. This is what to expect, this is on a 50-20 plan. The maximum that I could get in this area, it's cost me $60 for the first 6 months, then it, then it reverts to $70. I am using my own modem. It's an old Telstra modem. It's it's workable. Maybe I should invest in a better modem. I might even do that. But I'm probably going to get a power line adapter to plug into my um, streaming setup here. Please like and subscribe if I helped you. And I'll catch you next time.